Hello, my name is Ki. I'm from Burlington, Vermont. I'm a junior in the College of Nursing and Health Science with a, ma with a major in nursing and a minor in healthy behavioral change study from the College of Medicines. I also have a classroom where I spend a large portion of my time, around 20 to 25 hours a week, working as a nurse assistant downtown in one of our nursing homes. And my name is Jamie. I'm a senior in the College of Arts and Sciences. I'm from Waterbury, Vermont. I'm pursuing uh, an individually designed major in healthcare structure and emergency medical services research with a minor in biochemistry. Um, I've been interested in medicine for a really long time and UVM has allowed me to explore that both in and out of the classroom. So right now we're outside the Dana Medical Library, which is one of the academic libraries on campus. This one has uh, a lot of resources that are available for medical students and undergraduate students uh, to learn about anything that's related to their health sciences curriculum. I spend a lot of time here during finals. They have study rooms available and it's really just a, a great focused study area. You see a lot of nursing students in this medical uh, library because this is where we get to see a lot of um, uh, literature around uh, research on uh, human body as well as uh, disease and uh, all the pathophysiologies. So some advice that I would give to a prospective student who's interested in healthcare and is looking at the University of Vermont, I would say that you should definitely pursue it. And if you're thinking, oh, I like healthcare, I wanna get more experience, I wanna learn more, but I'm also interested in philosophy or English or any other field, uh, you can do both. It's a, it's a both and situation. I came into UVM really expecting that healthcare was the only thing I wanted to learn about. But through my course of studies, I have found that it's some of the classes that are outside of that field that have added the most depth and have been really fascinating to me. Um, and I'm wishing as a senior that I had been a double major in Mandarin Chinese and my independent study. So coming into UVM and, and wherever you decide to go to college, I would say look broadly and really think about what you want to use your time here for. About clinical uh, rotation, every nursing student here at UVM is guaranteed uh, for a spot in the University of Vermont Medical Center. And um, you don't have to apply separately to uh, be part of the clinical rotation. When it's time for you to do your clinical rotation in junior year, the school will automatically send you to the um, Univer uh, University of Vermont Medical Center um, to have your clinical done in there. Um, and the, also a great thing about um, having a medical center right on the campus is that if you feel like you want more experience, you want more time to shadow, you want more time to uh, um, get your clinical practice uh, done, you can definitely request to have more extra, that have an extra hour just to go shadow physicians, shadow nurses, um, or any people who work in the University of Vermont Medical Center you want to go into nurse uh, nursing and you want to become a nurse practitioner, you can also shadow that person, see their real experience, they did, um, daily activities and things like that. Um, that's also a great way to help you figure out um, what do you want to do and what, uh, what will fit you the best. So as you can see right over there, this is the Rao building, the home of the College of Nursing and Health Science. Right next to me right here, this is the College of Medicines. And just right behind me, over there to that uh, great building, that is the UVM Medical Center, the level one trauma medical center, largest one north of Boston. So everything is one in one complex. This is where nursing student, as well as any other student in the College of Nursing and Health Science would do their clinical um, this, uh, simulation lab just to study. Um, so during the uh, simulation lab, you would learn about what you would do, how you should react to the patient, um, what question you should ask patient, as well as the skill that you need to do. So as a junior, um, before I got to touch a real patient in the hospital, I would have to take um, some introduction to clinical classes like health assessment, introduction to clinical practice. Um, my first cl clinical rotation right now is a woman and newborn. So I get to go to the labor and delivery unit, uh, postpartum unit and NICU, um, ne neonatal intensive care unit. So uh, I get to see a wide range of um, um, care uh, for women and newborn um, 
and, and it was such a great experience for me and I love it. I got to see a birth, I got to help assisting a birth um, and also get to take care for a, a postpartum patient um, who just had their baby. Um, my culture, um, the Vietnamese culture is quite strict about um, who can see a birth, especially for a male identified uh, person like me. Um, it is really hard to, to know more about the birth process as well, pregnancy as well as the um, seeing or helping to deliver birth. Um, I never got that chance before. Um, during high school, I thought that I wanted to become a dentist. All four years of high school, I studied biochemistry, biology courses, trying my best just to be prepared for the dental um, path. So I uh, planned all the way through until the end of my third semester of the senior year. I had an uh, opportunity to perform as one of our um, nursing home in our area. It's called the uh, Wake Robin Nursing Facility. And uh, at the end of my recital hall, there was a lady, a resident who lived there. Um, she approached me uh, with all tears in her eyes and she came to me and held my hand really tight. And she um, told me that um, she had a male nurse before who has a very similar voice to mine. And also he sang for her um, when he, do, uh, he did the care for her. And it was, she, she just asked me if I would ever become a nurse. So that was the first time ever in my life that I really considered to become a nurse. It's like a spark in my head about the idea. After the performance, I just went back home and I did a lot of research about nursing school, nursing uh, career, uh, the future path um, in, in nursing field. And um, I came to the realization that this is the one for me. And I, I called the University of Vermont admission. At the time, I already finished, um, uh, submitted my application because I did early action. So I called them and I said, please switch my application to nursing. And they did. And very fortunate that I got accepted. So here I am as a nursing student.